New pushback tonight on the growing effort to get all city police officers to wear body cameras. The city council is considering a bill to force all officers to wear them, but the mayor and police commissioner do not agree with that plan, and WJZ is live at City Hall. Rochelle Ritchie has the arguments on both sides. Rochelle? Well, Denise, the police commissioner has actually been in support of body cameras. It's the city solicitor who is calling this legislation illegal. The mayor says based on the city's charter, council members do not have the authority to interfere with the police commissioner's powers. But the council president, in his own words, telling WJZ this entire war of words is political BS. It's a war of words in Baltimore City as council members get closer to passing legislation that would require nearly 3,000 city cops to wear body cameras. This is a win-win a for the police department. Council President Bernard Jack Young. But it will keep everybody in check because everything has to be recorded. Police Commissioner Anthony Batts has already made it clear he wants body cameras on all of his officers sooner than later. We know that there are lingering issues of trust, in doubt. While Young, the police commissioner, and other members of the council are ready to move forward, the mayor says not so fast. It's not the body cameras that is that's the issue. It's the uh, the core nature of the legislation. According to the mayor and the city solicitor, council members do not have the power to hinder the police commissioner's authority. So if this legislation were passed, it would be an illegal move by the city. There's a right way and a wrong way to go about it, and I think that they've they've chosen a way that is not in um, accordance with the charter. Is this an illegal move being taken by the city council? Absolutely not. And I can go back and talk about when we amended the curfew law. That's a police statute and ordinance. We did that. We did several things with the police department. It's all interpretation. It's all political BS. Young authored the legislation for body cameras in September after video of alleged police brutality played out in the media and a scathing report by the Baltimore Sun revealed millions of taxpayer dollars were paid out to victims of cops behaving badly. He says the argument over the words in the charter is a result of others in the city wanting to be the hero. I don't care who gets the credit. They can have the credit. Let's protect the police and the citizens of Baltimore. That's all I want. And the council president says while he certainly believes that the council is following the charter, he sent a letter to the attorney general, Doug Gansler, anyway to make sure. We're live tonight. I'm Rochelle Ritchie, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right. Thank you, Rochelle. Now, the police commissioner has used body cameras before when he worked in other jurisdictions. Should Baltimore City Police officers be required to wear body cameras? It's a question that's come up a lot lately after several high-profile allegations of police brutality. ABC 2 News Christian Schaefer is here with the latest on the debate tonight. Well, Jamie, Baltimore City's mayor and her legal team don't believe the city council has the power to tell the police commissioner how to run his department. That did not stop the council from holding a hearing on that body camera bill tonight. It's a hearing the mayor's legal team did not believe the council should have been holding. There are limitations on the, the legislative ability to direct the police department to perform particular actions. But they did it anyway. We're elected by the citizens of Baltimore and we're moving forward with this bill. A bill that would require Baltimore City Police officers to wear video cameras. Commissioner Anthony Batts began a body camera program when he led the police department in Oakland, California. He'd like to start one here, but he says issues like when to record and how long to store video have to be addressed. And the citizens are honest bad guy. I don't want you filming me. Does that mean we have to turn off the to turn off the video. The police department in Laurel has been using wearable cameras for two years. Anytime an officer comes in contact with the public, they have to start the camera. Inside of a home, they have to ask the resident if it's okay to record. Council members invited an officer from Laurel uh, to speak at the hearing. Sometimes people don't like that they're recorded in public, but as we said, unless they have an expectation of privacy, then we have the right to record them just as they have the right to record us. The city's finance department says starting a camera program would cost at least $5 million. Council members criticize the head of that department for not trying to also highlight how much money the city could save if a camera program would lead to fewer lawsuits against police. The issues are the issues. We know that we all want body cameras and we just have to work together put our differences aside, get the cameras on the police officers so that we can start to see a change, part of a change in our relationship with our community.
The Public Safety Committee passed that bill tonight, so it continues to move forward on that track. Now, the mayor has also formed a task force that is studying all those issues surrounding body cameras, like how much they would cost, when they'd be turned on, and how long video could be stored. There's no timetable, though, for when that task force will deliver its report to the mayor. Christian Schaefer, ABC2 News.